Welcome to UK Perspectives. I'm Lee Todd. I'm joined today by one of the busiest people on our campus. Michelle Ashcraft is an Associate Director of UK's Office for Student and Parent Programs. I'd like for you to tell us a little bit about yourself first. Sure. And then I want to jump from there into... uh, what the program's about. Sure. Well, I feel like I'm still relatively new on campus, still getting settled here. I've just um, been around since January, but I'm originally from southern Indiana, a little town called Seymour, and I did my undergraduate work at Purdue University and moved up here from Columbia, South Carolina, where um, I did my graduate work at the University of South Carolina. Well, we were really excited about what's taking place this year, and I'd like for you to talk about this new program that you've been charged with launching, which is what's got you busy. All of our incoming students have been asked to take part in this common reading experience. So how did this program come about? Well, back in November, a group of faculty and staff got together, led by Becky Jordan, who is an associate dean of students here on campus. Uh, And this has been a program that they've been hoping would come around for quite some time. And doing some research with our benchmark institutions uh, and looking at some of the research out there about common reading programs, they put a proposal together and a proposed budget gathered together some research that proves that these programs are beneficial for first-year students and submitted that to the provost. Um, Luckily, he was able to arrange some funding for us to get this running up and off the ground, and I came in in January and have been working with it ever since. And what book will everybody be reading? This year, uh, we have chosen The Color of Water by James McBride. We found out that it's a book that many universities have used as their first book for their common reading experiences or summer reading programs with great success. So we're hoping for the same here as well. Well, I'm halfway through it, so I'm going to finish it before the semester kicks off. And uh, the other thing that you've been busy doing is planning a year-long schedule of events related to the book including hosting the author here on our campus. So what are some of the events that we're planning? That's correct. Well, one of the main events that we have is all new students for the first time this year are going to be broken up into small groups for our K-Week experience, which is our Welcome Week program here on campus. Um, And they'll be led by an upper-class student leader to go through various events that week. And one of the events will be a small group discussion of this book. And we've partnered uh, those student leaders with a faculty or staff member on campus to help co-lead those discussions. So for one hour on Tuesday, August 25th, all of our new students will be taking part in the same uh, small group discussion of the same book. So that's something that we're definitely really excited about. Uh, In addition to that, we are bringing author James McBride to campus October 1st. He will be giving a lecture that evening in the Singletary Center. Um, We'll have that open to the entire university campus, so we're really hoping for a great turnout for that. Um, It'll take place at 7.15 that evening. He'll just talk about the book and a little bit more about his experiences. If any of our listeners want to read the book and take part in these activities, uh or many of these projects, are they open to the public? They are. We do encourage all of the um, public to read the book. Um, They're welcome to visit the UK bookstore who has copies on hand or are willing to order them and ship them to our alumni or folks across the nation or even in the local area, Um, or many people can find them very easily online because the book's been around for a while. We will have the entire schedule of events up on our website. It's very easy to get to www.uky.edu backslash common reading. Um, And if you go there, there's a variety of information about both the book and the author, and we'll have the whole schedule of events up there um, and welcome anyone to come and join us for them. Well, thank you again for taking time out of your hectic schedule. Certainly, Uh, I really appreciate all you've done to make this inaugural Common Reading Experience a great success, and I'm sure it will be. We've been speaking with Michelle Ashcraft from our Office of New Student and Parent Programs. For WKY Radio, I'm Lee Todd.